because I want the Japanese boys to come in and see that I'm finishing or I'm putting in yeah. the work. Especially in the sort of bath days and a couple of days at Leicester. So I always felt like I was seen as a bit selfish. I think that's probably the one thing I see in rugby that I think personally rugby gets wrong is I think yeah. rugby tries to keep everyone the same. Steve had amassed this group that just the balance was like nothing I've ever seen. Steve was so straight, you know, yeah. so straight. Like, why am I dropped? You f***ed up, you went to Nashville, you got COVID. I tied that in a little bit with the way they sort of treated boys around the club, you know, out of the playing group. I didn't, I didn't like it. And he'd come bombing in on his Mercedes, park it out the front, go in, do whatever he had to do. And like, he wouldn't even hang around to say hello to the boys after training. He'd be straight in his car, doing blooming donuts out of the car park, pretty much. Do you know what I mean? People say now, what's the proudest moment in my career? I always turn around and say, it's my resilience. 